Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bigg, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. We would like to welcome you today to the joy of music as we share with you a special concert from the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm going to be joining Jerome Hines, the great bass of the Metropolitan Opera, as he sings and I play great sacred and classical masterpieces. We will also be joined by Jerome Hines, accompanist for over 30 years, Alexander Alexei. Jerome Hines is a man of great faith in God as well as being a wonderful musician. And many years ago, there was another man who had a great faith in God and was one of the greatest musicians of all time, Johann Sebastian Bach. I would like to play a number by Bach which expresses Bach's faith in God. This number talks about joy, and Bach uses the motive of joy as he bounces around between the hands and the pedals. This is, in thee is gladness.
just walked in days of long ago. I wandered down each lane he knew with reverent steps and slow. Those little lanes they have not changed. A sweet peace fills the earth. I walk today where Jesus walked. are a wonderful way of expressing our faith, and I personally have a very favorite hymn, Praise to the Lord the Almighty. I am so thankful, and I really want to praise God for all the good things that He has done for me, and the many good things that He does for so many of us every day. The Bible tells us that all good and perfect gifts come from above, and there's so much that we can enjoy in life health and light and fresh air 
and friends and love and home and family and just so many things. And I would like to express the faith and the praise that I have for my personal God as I play an arrangement I have done of praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is thy health and salvation. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the big round world in his hands. He's got the wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the wind and the rain in his hands. He's got the sun and the moon right in his hands. He's got the wind and the rain in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got a lion man in his hands. He's got a cheating man right in his hands. He's got the crap shooting man right in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got that tiny little baby right in his hands. He's got that little bitsy baby in his hands. 
He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me right in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. Got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody in his hands. He's got everybody right in his hands. He's got everybody in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. I'm thinking of all the numbers that I sang tonight, and it shows the many phases of my life, and they all knit together to make one very wonderful whole in my life, a completeness in my life. There was another kind of a hole in my life way back. There was an empty hole in my heart and I never could understand what made me so restless. I thought I would find it in science, in chemistry, mathematics, physics, things like that. And once I had achieved degrees, that wasn't what I was looking for. Maybe I would find it in my career in music, and it wasn't there. In composing, there were so many things. But I found very soon thereafter, when I was writing this opera in the life of Christ, I found what was missing. It was the person I was writing about in this opera. It was a man who was God, Jesus Christ. And when he came into my heart, that hole was filled, and I was made whole in this wonderful way, this complete satisfaction. From that time on, I knew if I were to die that moment, I would have no regrets because I had found in life what I was really looking for. It wasn't that I was looking to accomplish certain things in life, that I had to make so much money, or that I had to write so much music, or had to sing so many performances, achieve a certain status in my career. That wasn't what life was all about all of a sudden. My whole orientation changed. It was Jesus Christ. And once he came in, everything was fulfilled. I didn't need anything more to make my life complete. What a wonderful life it has been to find peace in the midst of the storm, joy in the midst where everybody else is crying and tearing their hair out about what a misery life is. No, it isn't. Life is wonderful because life is Jesus Christ. There must be somebody out here who does not have that joy of life, that does not have that adventure, who is soured on life, who is tired of life, who says, when I die, I want to be dead forever. I don't want to live forever. Is your life such a misery that you hate life so? I want to live forever. I've only tasted of it. And if you want to have the chance to share in this kind of enthusiasm, in this kind of joy, come to Jesus Christ. Life has become marvelous. I used to love life. I adore it now. Because life is not some kind of a thing that you acquire. Life is a person. The way to God is a person. Truth is a person. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me, said Jesus Christ. To the regret of many people. People don't like that statement. He made it, and I believe it. I believe it's true. I love the way. I love his truth. I love the life he has given me. Hand. The 
and to be the king of a vast domain and be held in sins to rest away. I'd rather have Jesus than anything. This world affords to day. I'd rather have Jesus than men's applause. I'd rather be faithful to his dear cause. I'd rather have Jesus than worldwide fame. I'd rather be true to his cause. To be the king of a vast domain and be held in sin's dread sway. I'd rather have Jesus. One of the most exciting pieces ever written for the organ, and probably one of the most famous, is the Toccata by Charles Marie Vidor. Now, a Toccata is uh, translated as a, as a touch piece, that is, touching the keys, and in this case, touching them just about as fast as you possibly can. The composer has put a repeated rhythmic pattern in the hands and the pedals take the melody. This is the Vidor Toccata using all of the resources on the organ.
Thank you so much for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought to you a special concert from the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It has been my great honor to join Mr. Jerome Hines, the great bass of the Metropolitan Opera, and also Mr. Alexander Alexei, who has accompanied Mr. Hines for over 30 years. This has been a concert of praise to God in performance of great classical and sacred music. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.